Hi team, welcome for an exciting edition. We're doing a laundry basket workout. Now I'm super pumped, this is going to be fun. <laughs> and thank you to Megan Strzok for the idea of Quarantine with Megan fame. Just chatting with her randomly and she popped in the idea of the laundry basket workout. Since I do so many like wine bottle, cans, jars, just fun things you can grab around the house. And this one is a really good workout. I've been experimenting with some of the moves um, and it's been super fun. So grab a laundry basket. I've got my laundry basket here and with it, I've got a little blanket on top and my objects of choice have been a bunch of really big, thick books. <laughs> Hi, welcome team. This one is gonna be fun, I'm excited. All right, hi Jackie. So I've got a bunch of like big thick books here. You can have jars, cans, welcome Carol. Hope you got your laundry basket handy. So again, you can have like jars, cans. You can do bags of flour, good morning Barb. Anything you've got around the house, feel free to take out any items as we go along. We're gonna be doing some deadlift things. We'll do some squats, lunges. So different things like that, as well as some mat work here. We're gonna sit down and work on those rotational exercises. Good morning, Gail. So again, if you're just coming in, laundry basket, fill it with random items. I was just saying I've got books, so that's mine. You can even do DVDs. Good morning, Carolyn. Hope you're excited. Hope you got your laundry basket ready. Uh, and yeah, any other objects you can come up with, even if you wanna put some wine bottles in that basket, that is fine. So just objects around the house, and again, feel free to empty it as we go along here. Good morning, Cindy. I know you got your laundry basket ready. So yeah, this will be fun. I'm excited. Um, yeah, so we're gonna give this a try. I know a lot of us are short on equipment around the house, so this enables everyone to get a great workout. And it is a lot of fun. So I'm pumped, I hope you're pumped too. We're gonna start warming up here. So I'll just back it up a little bit. Whew. Kick it out, man. And I don't know about you guys, but I am sore from Tuesday's workout. <laughs> Definitely sore. Woo. All right, good morning. All right, Cindy, what do you got? Oh yeah, you will need to catch this later, Cindy, for sure. No, it's gonna be a fun one. I'm excited. <laughs> like, I like this format. I like getting creative with various things around the house. Because again, I know we don't always have like proper exercise equipment or at least a limited supply of it. Plus, I, I just like this. It's fun to get creative, make exercise more fun. It doesn't have to be drudgery. It can be as simple as grabbing a laundry basket full of random things. <laughs> so we're gonna kick out those knees. Whew. Get them warmed up. Yeah, I am, I am legit sore from Tuesday with all those punches. My arms have been sore the last couple days. And my obliques, everything. And then yesterday with our band workout, whew, I can definitely feel that. So we're gonna do a lot of Lost stretches for the arms, for the thighs, for everything right now. Oh, all right, we're gonna start getting those shoulders warm. Reach forward while you're kicking it back here. Get some breath flowing and breathe and breathe. <laughs> all right, and we'll kick it out and kick it out. Good. Whew. Thought I was having more music difficulties. Keeps wanting to stop on me lately. Oh, oh, technology. It's always so great when it works. So yeah, start and kick higher if you've got it. Maybe drag the heel out, maybe make it real soft. So just whatever you've got. <laughs> Hi, Harper. <laughs> oh, all these cloudy days have made it real sleepy in this house. All right, we're gonna plant the feet. We're gonna take it just to punches here, straight punches. Four, three, two, one. Just nice and light. Get everything stretched out, yeah, there we go. I'm feeling that. <laughs> nice and slow, long. You can make them long, slow punches. Hi, sweetie, yeah. We're gonna take the hooks in four, three, two, one, and hook. It's gonna be nice and big, kind of sloppy. Just get in the shoulder. 
Yeah, if you're like, well, Tuesday, I'm kind of shocked at how much I feel Tuesday. All body weight. If you haven't checked it out yet, do so. I had a lot of fun teaching it. Got a lot of cardio, actually. And again, it's just body weight. So it was a lot of boxing inspired stuff. And then we did some mat work with some, some push ups, but don't be afraid. <laughs> If you haven't tried it out yet, it was a good time. We're gonna take it to uppercuts in four, three, two, one. Right up the chin. Get under that shoulder. And moving those feet too, so you can keep getting those knees, hips warm. Keep breathing. Get that air flowing here. <laughs> I actually started with the fan on. I was smart today. <laughs> I remembered. So I'm already getting warm here. All right. We're gonna actually take it back down the low body with some knee drives. So look at those hips, knees warm. In four, three, two, one. So just knee, knee. Go whatever pace you need. And you might add a little lean back, or maybe we're gonna just stay tall and just lift the knees. So you're warming up those hips, also warm up those knees, warm up that low back. If you want to, you can keep warming up those arms, driving up. And breathe, and breathe. And we're gonna be planting the feet. We're gonna take it to stretching, starting with the neck. And four. March, keep moving. We're gonna take the neck off to one side, so you can either just lean it off the shoulder or actually grab the side of the head. And again, keep moving if you want, or you can just plant the feet. If you want to keep things warm, keep moving. If you're warm enough, <laughs> you can bring it down a notch. Other side. Center. You can gently push up on that chin. Deep breaths, release that tension. And then bring it behind the head. Just gonna bring those elbows in and again, gently. Start gently. This can be a lot on the neck, especially if you deal with some neck issues. If you're just tight in the neck, take every movement real slow. And breathe. <laughs> Keep forgetting to deep breathe here. No passing out today. Slow release. Take it to a gentle roll. We'll take it in the shoulders. We'll start some rolls to the back. Oh, feels good. <laughs> we are gonna be doing a lot of holding that basket today. So we're gonna warm up those shoulders, warm up those arms for sure. We'll slowly reverse. All right, we're gonna bring one arm across the body, get the rear deltoids here. Nice stretch, Keep holding a little closer into the body. From here, bring the arm up behind the head if you're able. Another option if that is difficult for you, if you've got some shoulder issues here, again, some limitations, you're just gonna come at shoulder height and push that elbow back towards you. And again, all this really gently. We'll shake that up. We'll go to the other side, grab that other arm, get that rear deltoid. Again, holding that basket a lot, so we wanna make sure everything's nice and stretched out. I'm in the up and behind. Or again, you can keep it at shoulder level. <laughs> Sorry, too much, but <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> we'll shake that out. And if you want, you can grab the hands behind the back or just reach behind. Roll shoulders back and down. Look up. <laughs> oh, that was great. Yeah, she's officially made her way back to the office. 
Ryan's just quietly at his computer. <laughs> a, lot, a lot less stimulation than out here. <laughs> she cracks me up sometimes, she does. All right, we're gonna take it back. We're gonna take it down to the back. A little standing cat cow. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, round it. So just find that set stance whenever you've got it. Bend the knees, hips drive back, just like with our deadlifts here. Inhale up, exhale, pull belly button in. And it's just a good reminder. Anytime you're bending over, you're bent at the hips. That keeps your low back long. That's part of the spine long. So you don't put that pressure on the low back. Takes a lot of practice. <laughs> but if you can start to do that, you'll prevent a lot of that back injury here. I say this because I've done that. I haven't bent over properly. So I'm always very mindful of our backs <laughs> for all of us. Whenever you're coming back into that little cow that's curling up, I'll bring the feet together. Again, drive those hips back. You can start a little massage of the knees and the little knee circles whenever you're ready. All right. And a little circles the other direction. And again, you keep a little massaging or whatever you need. And then you can do freestyle shape, stretch if you want to stretch the backs of legs. Your neck's still a little tight. I'm gonna do my ankles because they're really tight today. So you just do whatever you need to do. Grab a drink of water if you need, and you're gonna be picking up that laundry basket. So we're gonna start, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna start with some arm work first. Uh, just gonna be super fun. <laughs> okay, so again, if ever this gets to be a bit much for you, feel free to take out some of your objects in the basket. And picking up your basket. Again, you're getting hip hinge, you're bending those knees. Very carefully picking it up. Try not to pick it up at a twisted angle, but straight on. Okay, we're gonna start with a nice little lift. So you're just gonna pull up, down, pull up, down. So it might be more like you're pulling straight up the chest. If you've got the range for it, you can lift that basket up, bring it down. So that's the move. We're gonna start officially in three, two, one, and go. So you'll exhale up, inhale down. Shoulders back and down, exhale. Inhale, lining up those elbows and shoulders, whichever you're doing, pull straight up or if you're able to bring the arms out in front of you, just like a bicep curl, but you happen to have a laundry basket instead. So strong abs, soft knees. You can even experiment with a split stance here if that's more comfortable for you. Woo, I'm already feeling that one. Get shoulders back and down. Try to keep them out of the ears. Keep breathing, exhale up. Inhale down, just like we would for any other, any other exercise. Whew. Got 10 seconds here. Oh yeah, that's feeling pretty good. Whew. And you got three, two, one. Next one is gonna be that high pull. So we're gonna just pull up as high as you're comfortable going. This one on the shoulders, so you might add in at the chest like we were doing before. You might be able to pull above the chest. And again, shoulders are gonna stay back and down, just like as before. Bent knees or a split stance with that pressure off the low back. Pull them up, going down. Official time, it's gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, and time. So pull up and up, whatever face you need. Woo. And again, this is kind of far away. If you're going above the chest, it's kind of far away from the body, so it might be a bit too much pressure for those shoulders. So you're really mindful of what works for your body. You can go here, you can go below the chest, you're still gonna get a workout. So no worries. Whew. Never thought you could have this much fun with a laundry basket, huh? Whew. Next time you're getting the laundry, <laughs> this is where you're gonna be at. You got 10 seconds. Whew. There we go. And again, you're really conscientious. Let's listen to that body, whatever it's telling you. You got three, two, one, all right, very gently. We're just gonna bring those feet wide, carefully set it down, just check on everything. Make sure that you're at the right weight in your basket. Make sure the arm shoulders are okay. If they're starting a little strain, feel free to back off in some weight. Oh man, there we go, little shake. Okay, we're gonna do one more set of that. So the little bicep curl and a set of high pulls. So just be mindful. Actually, we're gonna do two, we're gonna do two sets. <laughs> I lie all the time. <laughs> that just sounds like more 
fun. We're gonna do two more sets. All right, so again, we're gonna start with those curls, either bent knees or that split stance. You've got three, two, one, and go. So again, you're curling. You've got those elbows and shoulders aligned. Exhale up, inhale down. And it can be a very little movement here where those elbows are locked in tight. You're just coming under the chest, back down, or you come way out in front of the chest. But the main thing is you've got that form, you've got those bent knees or that split stance, really strong abs, pulling that spine in, shoulders back and down, proud chest. Woo, yeah, that's fun. You got 10 seconds already. We're almost done with this. Woo. You got three, two, one. And really lock those elbows in. I know as I was, my elbows were straying away and I could feel the strain not in a good way on my biceps, so make sure those elbows are pretty tight here. And again, feel free to take a breather, take some things out of your basket, whatever you need. Okay, high pulls next. So again, you're either under the chest or coming way above the chest. Just mindful of shoulders back and down, mindful of the shoulders. You've got three, two, one, and go. So you've got exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Whatever pace you need, body stays strong. Woo, so when we got that split stance, to stay tall and proud. I just like going with the beat of the music. That's my thing. Woo, 10 seconds. And then we'll take a little stretch break. Make sure we're still doing okay. You got three, two, one. Woo, okay, get really good bend. Tip from the hip, set that basket down. Check on everything. I'm gonna check out my neck and shoulders for myself. You might clasp those hands behind the back, check on the biceps, check on the neck at the same time. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I know. Ah, turns out that's hard. And it's nice because you have to have such a wider grip on all of that. So it puts, makes those muscles work a lot of different ways. She feel that core working too as it's trying to deal with this new, unusual object. So, last set of that. Again, nice wide stance, get that bend knees, hips go back as you pick that basket up. Another pro tip, pull those abs in as you lift as well so you're supporting that low back. Okay, we'll see how much range I'll get with these ones. Bicep curls in three, two, one, and go. So you've got exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Okay, lock those elbows in, and maybe you're gonna just do a little pull and a little bitty pull. Just listen to your body. Whew, create this grip. Pull those abs in. Play around with that split stance. Gives a little more stability. Whew. Got 10 seconds here. Hang in there, team. Woo! Sorry, to feel those back muscles work too, not just biceps and shoulders. Throw you some back muscles, a little tricep here. And time. Whew. All right, high pull. Blow my, blow my little hairs on my face. Blow those little flyaways. I'm sure you guys feel the same. It can be annoying. <laughs> you can get a bandana out, I think. All right, high pull. You've got three, two, one. Here we go. So up, down, up, down. We're gonna exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. And just go in whatever range you can get. Again, strong core, soft knees. Proud chest, you can come just under the chest, that's fine. Getting those elbows out a little bit here. So for focusing more, the upper part of the shoulders, off of that neck with the traps a little bit. Whew, there's the sweat. <laughs> so my first little trickle going down my spine. Whew. Got five more seconds here, team. Whew. And time, all right. Nice and wide stance, we'll just slowly set that basket down. Woo, check out everything, get neck, pull it down, a little stretch, a little water break if you need. Shake that out, we're gonna take it to the back. Standing up, but to the back muscles more specifically, some rows and deadlifts. So we'll just really make sure those shoulders, that neck, those arms are, are ready for this. All right, so deadlift. Just like you would with a regular deadlift, you just happen to have a laundry basket. When you pick it up again, abs in, tip from the hip. Nice wide stance. Okay, so deadlift. Again, you've got 
your heels, knees, hips in line. You're going to bring those hips back, pull it up. You're just hugging those elbows in real tight. Now, option, you can stay down here or you can do one, pull abs in, stand up. Tip from the hip, pull abs in, stand up. All right, so that's the move. We're officially going to start this in five, four, three, two, and once the hips go back, pull those abs in, tight elbows. Get a nice little squeeze at the top. And again, you can add that little stand up here between, just make sure you're pulling those abs in, and then you're coming back down, you're bringing those hips back right away. So that's the actual deadlift. So again, hips go back, pull those abs in as you come up. Hips go back, pull those abs in as you come up. So that is a deadlift in five, four, three, two, and one. So we'll inhale back down, exhale, abs in, come up. And you might do just for a little movement here, that's fine. If you just go to the knees, that's okay. Just listen to your own body, listen to your shoulders. Listen to that back, listen to your knees, hips. Main thing too, you really want to make sure the shoulders are back and down, you're not slumping forward as you come down. There's a lot of strain on your middle back and your low back, so make sure those shoulders are always back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. If you need to, reset at the top. Keep breathing. Ooh, yeah, really get that low back burning. You got 10 seconds. Squeeze those glutes too. You've got three, two, one. We're still gonna set that down. So do your deadlift move, and then just happen to set that basket down on the mat. Okay, we're just gonna check on our backs, make sure everything's still feeling okay. So maybe you're gonna do a little twist side to side, very carefully, not a big range. Or maybe you're going to bend over the legs, hips go back, maybe grab the elbows, get the upper back as well, because those rows and deadlifts put a bit of strain on the middle back. Let that head be loose. So just really check in. If you are pulling the legs, really good bend knees. I like that because it takes the pressure off the low back. Also makes the low back stay long. I will stress that to death as you're probably, probably getting already. We want to get that low back long. And when you're coming back up, abs in, curl yourself up. All right, two more sets. You know how this works by now. Two more sets, we're starting with rows. So rows, you're here. <laughs> That's a row. Don't want to confuse anyone out there. <sighs> oh, language, it's fun. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Bend the knees to get that basket. Abs in, keep the basket tight. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Rows. So we're gonna start here, pull it up. All right. Abs in, roll those shoulders back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Again, you can add a little stand between, take the pressure off that low back. Just make sure, again, the hips are the first thing to go back if you're doing that. So that's the move. Nice inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So keep it nice and slow, a little squeeze. Keep those hips driving back. Those abs in tight, squeeze, you're gonna get tri 
biceps, backs the shoulders, and we're your deltoid here. Ab, low back. Low back should be burning, but no actual pain. If you're starting to feel pain, gently set that basket down, just kind of assess, stretch it out. You've got five seconds. And time, all right. Jelly coming up, a little breather here. Just kind of observe that low back, make sure it's feeling okay. If not, again, gently put the basket down, just stretch it out. Do the next move with body weight instead. So just do what you got. No need to rush things here. You'll miss your back once it's gone, so don't, don't force it into anything it doesn't want to do. Deadlift time, actual deadlifts. You've got three, two, one, and time. So tip for the hip, coming down as far as you feel comfortable going. Exhale, abs in, drive through those heels. Inhale, tip forward. Exhale, drive the heels, squeeze the glutes, squeeze abs. Inhale, abs, heels, glutes. Keep it as long and strong in the shoulders as you can. As long back. Basket stays tight to the body. You're gonna skim down those legs. Whew. Oh yeah, I should really be getting the back, man. <laughs> So this is really feel all through that back. This is good. Got 10 seconds. Just make sure it's a nice working feeling and not a spasmy pain feeling. Whew. Get three, two, one. Very slowly sit that basket down, bend the knees. Slowly come up. All right, we're gonna do another stretch here. Maybe you're gonna start up top, maybe you'll fold over. Just kind of check in, go real slow. Let the head be loose, maybe put some tension in the neck. So loosen that up. Oh, yeah, we're getting strong today. And all the lovely laundry basket. This is fun, I might keep this one. You can add comments below too, in case you like it, you didn't like it. Just let me know, give me some feedback and we can keep this laundry basket workout just so we can get the wine bottle workout. <laughs> all right, we got one more set, starting with rows. Whew, so very gently putting, thinking on that basket again, good bend the knees, tip the hip, pull those abs in. <sighs> okay, row time is going to be in five, four, three, two, one. So you'll tip, start those knees, pull that basket up. Hitting that belly button, inhale, exhale. Abs and hips, squeeze the shoulders, squeeze the shoulders. If you're staying in this position, let's squeeze those glutes as well, make sure they're engaging, helping support you. And again, if you add that little stand, make sure you're getting hips back and then driving up the heels. So really be mindful of how you're moving in this position. Real good, squeeze the shoulders between the shoulder blades, take like a pencil right between the shoulder blades as you pull up. Got five, four, three, two, one. Pull those abs in, slowly stand it up. Check in, make sure, blow those little hairs out of your face. Make sure your back's doing okay. We're gonna take it to our deadlift. In five, four, three, two, one. So tipping from the hip, drive those hips back, nice inhale. Exhale, abs, heels, glutes. Okay, really mindful, very much connected with what that body is doing. This is mindfulness in action, people. So you're very, very focused on that back. Don't want to injure it. So you're very focused on what muscles are working when you're connecting with that breath. Whew. So yeah, mindfulness right here. Now I have to sit and do meditation. We're being mindful right now. Whew. Got 10 seconds. Whew. Which has been proven to increase exercise performance and of course prevent injury because you're out tuning into your body. So yeah, pro tip guys. We got three, two, one. We'll slowly set that basket down. Ooh, very gently come up. Let's check on everything. Again, you can be standing up. You could do a little standing cat cow if you'd like. That could be what you do. Maybe you're gonna do that forward fold. Again, really good bend the knees. Maybe I'll do a little side to side sway. Just find what works for you. What your back, what your shoulders, what your body wants. I always like to step on my palms here. 
Although I imagine once we do get back to gyms in the era of COVID, probably won't be doing that. It's a little germy on the bottom of the feet. Whew. Okay, whenever you're ready, slowly curl it up, roll those shoulders, check it in. We're gonna check out those knees a little bit because we're taking it to the low body. We're gonna have fun. Oh, I'm enjoying this, all right. There we go, finally brushed the hair out of my face. Okay, legs. So let me show you what's happening and you can decide what you wanna do. We're gonna be doing a very wide, wide squat, wide plie, <laughs> wide squat here. So you're angling out those feet, outside the shoulders, so you can have that laundry basket between the legs, basically. So we're gonna do that nice wide plie, and you can squat down, so you're actually touching the floor, or you can do, of course, a little mini squat here. So kind of finding what works for you. I found a wide works really well, but just finding what works for you. And again, those hips go straight down, straight up, or maybe just a little bitty, bitty move here. It's more comfortable to hold the basket above your hips, gets it right out of the way, especially if you're doing the mini, that works. You can also do body weight. So look at all the options, so many options. We're gonna have 40 seconds of fun, whatever you decide, in five, four, Three, two, and one. You'll inhale going down. Exhale, drive up. Wherever you are, no matter what range you're getting, pull those abs in as you come back up. Squeeze the glutes. Fine. Keep nice and tall. And again, you can always bring the basket up. Decrease that range of motion if it's starting to get uncomfortable. So playing around with it. You still got some time. Woo. Fun touch. Pull those abs in. Nice and long. You got 10 seconds here. You got this team. Keep that mindfulness. Keep paying attention to what the knees, hips, back are doing. And time. You can very gently set the basket down if you like or just hold on to it. Just kind of check in. We get a little kick break. We're gonna add in some complex compound movements here. So this one, we're adding a little pull. Oh yeah, you thought the arms were done. They're never done. So you're gonna have that nice wide stance. We're gonna squat down, pull up. Squat down, pull up. And you can bring those elbows out, end up below the chest here. And just finding what range works for you. You can do it together. Or if you feel safer, squat, come up all the way straight, and then end up with that high pull. So those are your options. And again, you don't have to go all the way down if you just agree a little with a pull. So just finding what works for you. Mind your own body. Whew. You've got four, three, two, and one. So again, have that nice little squat, abs in, little high pull. Squat, abs in, high pull. And make sure, again, that basket's really tight. You're nice and long as you can be. You might bend over a little bit from the hip. That's okay. And then this end of the chest with this pull. We're not going to go all the way up to the collarbone unless you really want to. If you want some more, you can go up to the chin of the collarbone. Just really be mindful. Shoulders. Whew. Your wrists, especially with all this gripping. So just kind of do what you need to do. You've got 10 seconds. Keep those abs in. Kind of play around with where you want that pull. Woo. You got three, two, one, Woo. and time. Very carefully set that basket down. Kind of check on that back. I have to lift my knee up. You can hold if you got the balance. Kind of checks on the glutes, pulling in the low back, glutes, hips. They can pull on that low back a bit. Check on the knees, check on the low back. Whew. Okay, taking it just to the legs here. We're gonna be doing some step backs. So either a proper step back lunge or just a little step back. And I'll show you what I mean. Whew. Just gonna check on my back here. <sighs> All right. <laughs> so pulling those abs in, basket comes up. So we're gonna have that basket nice and tight probably. Elbows bent to take the pressure off. Those shoulders can come up a little higher to get it out of the way of the hips. They're just gonna do a little step back. If you're 
you're feeling fancy, you can bring that basket up a little higher and do a full step back. But just finding what range works for you. It's a little awkward with the basket. So a rush in anything. 40 seconds of fun. And you've got three, two, one, and go. So we'll do a little step back. Step back. Give me a little squeeze. Whew. To those glutes. Drive the heel. Ground through that front heel. Keep the knee over the ankle. Finding where you want that basket. Whew. You want it higher. Just kind of playing around with that. Woo! That's good, everything burning. Whew. And of course, you can do this without any weight whatsoever. It's still gonna be a great workout. You can do a nice narrow range here. Breathe. Whew. You've got 10 seconds. Check those knees while we're up. Whew. Let's work our way down. Now this one should be fun. Okay, so you've got all those little objects in there. Whew. Okay, all those little objects. I'm gonna move my blanket. Okay, so for me, got books. What you're gonna do is you're gonna twist to get them twist to set it down. You're going to take out all your objects and then you're going to twist to bring it back. Options. So yeah, kind of looks like a Russian twist. Sneaky, right? Now, options. You can have heels down, toes up, or you can have feet up. Make sure while you're doing this that you've got that really nice stack, shoulders over hips, very carefully. You might have to reach into that basket. Just make sure you're pulling those abs in, 
reach really carefully. If that's not working for you, feel free to take the objects out of the basket first and then just go to one side and then go to the other side. So that's what we're doing. Kind of play around with it. Again, really mindful. Shoulders, hips pretty well stacked. Abs in the whole time. A little lean back while keeping long. All right, I'm gonna reset here while twisting very carefully, keeping everything nice and tall. All right, I'm gonna give you a minute to do this. So we'll see how we do. <laughs> we might need less. We'll try this out. You can do it a couple times if you're fast. You've got three, two, one, and time. So you might start slow once you get that right movement. You can go a little faster. Oh yeah, I'm gonna see, challenge yourself. See how many times you can do this, putting it in and out of the basket. Pull that belly button in, shoulders relaxed. Mindful of that spine, what you're doing with it. Whew. You're halfway through, people. Scooch us closer. Whew. Whew. Keep breathing. Keep your eye on the prize. Yeah, sure. I get my legs up. We'll see how that works. Ooh, that's real hard. Be gentle with these books. They're precious English literature books, so you need to be careful. <laughs> oh, you just have five seconds. I want to see if I can be even. <laughs> there we go. All right, official time has ended. But if you're like me, <laughs> you want to keep it balanced, I'm going to try to get back in the basket. Whew. All right. If you're not like me, you're done. Just take a little chill break. Oh, maybe roll forward, maybe butterfly legs. Just kind of check in. Oh, make sure everything's okay. And you officially made it. You've made it. We're gonna do planks and then we'll stretch it out. So well done. That was fun. I'm gonna, yeah, get a comment. Maybe you didn't like it as much as I did. <laughs> but from, from my perspective, I'd like to keep that in the workout rotation. That's a fun one. Okay, rub it out. Plank time, you can do low plank, high plank, whoo, yeah, I'm gonna feel that. All right, low plank, high plank, wall plank, chair plank. I feel like a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> All right, so wherever you need to be, find that out. Okay, we're gonna breathe. You guys make it longer. Okay, we've got 10 seconds. Let's see if I can get that water down. Okay, I'm gonna start that out in three, Two, one, and time. Okay, now, if you are up on your toes, you're squeezing those quads, squeezing the glutes, abs pull in. If you're down knees, you're still pulling those abs in. You're letting the head float forward, keeping that staff, wrist, elbow, shoulder, or elbow, shoulder. Breathe in here. Really pull that belly button in. You don't want that sag in the low back. If you feel yourself sagging, just drive those hips back up. Squeeze all the things. You made your first 30 here. Well done, team. Focus on steady, long breaths. Gazing just slightly in front of you. Try not to let that head collapse, but you also don't want that chin super lifted. You want a nice long line. Woo! Shake it out. Second 30, we're almost there. Another option for you on an extra challenge, you can have palms facing up in low plank position. But only if you want more. Breathe, keep squeezing all things. If you feel that hip, that back sinking, pop the hips up, reset. You can do a little toe taps. Got options, and you've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Very gently. Come down the knees. Come into a sphinx to start. So you've got all the shoulder in line. Roll the shoulders back. Oh, there we go. Open up the chest. Get a nice stretch on the abs. Hands come under shoulders. Just gently pushing yourself up if you're able. Knees wide on the mat. Sink those hips back for a wide knee child's pose. Reaching fingers forward. <clears throat> Let that forehead come on the mat. Maybe a 
little more stretch. Feels real good on the shoulders, down the back, down the lats. Whew. Inhale, slowly come on hands and knees if you're able. Now feel free to do a standing cat cow here instead. So you've got inhale, shoulders back, flip it up. Exhale, tuck chin, pull the belly button in, round it, push through the palms, and draw on hands and knees, and flow with your breath here. Really engaging those abs as you curl yourself up into cat. And get two more breaths. especially after the step backs, so those squats, everything. So we'll bring one foot behind the other, and that same arm is going to reach up and over. You can have hands on the abs, you can have hand on the hip. You can make a fist here and take that pressure off the wrist. Keep the shoulders back, proud chest here. We don't want to collapse in. Just sinking slowly with the breath. Oh, such a nice stretch. <laughs> Remember this one. If you've got low back pain too, so a really nice one for you. Or hip pain. Inhale up, slowly switching sides. Step back carefully and again, getting that same arm up and over. Proud chest, shoulders back and down. Steady breaths. Sink deeper with those exhales. And now slowly coming up. Whew, and kick it out. Take care of those knees too. If you've got some tightness or more rubbing, more circles. I know I'll be doing that. I've had some knee difficulty the last couple days. So make sure you take care of them. Nice inhale up. Exhale, squeeze up shoulders, open the chest, palms to middle. Feel free to stretch some more. Really take care of your body. Take care of the back, the knees. We use them a lot today. So do what's right for you. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I certainly did. Oh, thanks for joining Lourdes and Linda. Saw you popping up as well. And anyone else I missed, I'll make sure to comment on in the comment section here. But thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have an awesome weekend. And yeah, we'll be back here next week for more of the same fun. You got this. Stay safe, stay well, stay sane. I will see you soon. Whoop.